Hey, this is Anthony at Thrive You can watch this side and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Schuber C4 modular helmet available at Revzilla.com. This is the C4. It is an apex predator within the realm of modulars. It is the quietest modular on the market, coming in at a tested sub 86 decibel quiet rating. Again, when we think about the high end of the modular helmet world, and when I say modular, it means it is suited for long range, multi-seasonal riding, a lot of times in the touring position, this helmet is highly functional with a flip face design. Now, some of you are saying, I've seen this video, there's a bit of deja vu going on in the matrix because I know the C4 is coming for late 17, early 18. I'm gonna say that you're correct if you are a part of the ZLA Army faithful watching our videos. This is the second time we're shooting this video. We are reshooting this video and I'm gonna tell you why. Because to my left was the original helmet that we shot. This is the original Schubert C4 and we can see in all of its glory with all of its changes, it was three pounds, 12 ounces. It has the integrated SC1 system. They changed the vent scheme, they changed the shield. Super aerodynamic. Here's where the reshoot happens and why you're watching a different video today. We love the advancement in 90% of what they did with the new Schubert C4. When we tested it, when we rode in it, we had our late production sample to shoot our original C4 video. We had this bad boy right here, which had this shell shape, for not just an extra small small, but it also had a medium large. And this shell size, rather, is really three pounds, 12 ounces for DOT and ECE rated. The problem becomes is when final stage testing hit the US and they had to do all of the beefed up requirements to pass the DOT rating here in the States, what ends up happening is for your mediums large all the way through XL, 2XL, all the way up the size curve, what ends up happening is you have your medium and your large in this helmet. And this bigger, or in this shell rather, in this bigger shell, you're actually adding four additional ounces. So what happens is, we we love this helmet, but it went from three pounds, 12 ounces for a medium and a large to now four pounds, two. And that's the thing you have to really keep in mind as you think about all the different features and all the things they've changed and the fact that it's Daft Punk out the wazoo now, very, very slick with some of the creature comforts and upgrades here, but what you're getting is a helmet over the four pound mark for a medium and large. Now, if you're an extra small or small, you're still in the more compact shell. And that's gonna be three pounds, 12 ounces. We love it, DOT rated, ECE rated, covers all the bases, covers that safety standard. And I will tell you, they're still doing this shell in Europe. So if you're looking, or if you wanna buy in Europe for some reason to buy a non-DOT rated helmet, you're gonna end up with a different helmet in the mediums and large. And if you have to swap a shield or a part, they're gonna be different shields and part. But that's the big thing I wanted to home in on. And while we love this helmet, we applaud everything Schubert's done by way of technology and everything I'm gonna to talk to you about today, when we have to reshoot this video is when they released the final version and gave us a shell for medium and large that happened to be bigger than originally spec'd and it increased that weight rating. Now, that being said, that's the biggest bogey you have to cover. And if you can get past that, it's a phenomenal helmet. I'm gonna dip into a few other key things. We're gonna talk sizing and then I'm gonna walk you through the nuances like I typically do. But I didn't wanna bury the lead. I need to address the elephant in the room. I need to make sure that we recognize the fact that all of you out there are very smart, knowledgeable, and if you're gonna spend north of $700 on a helmet, chances are you've probably already watched one of the videos that we've done on the C4. This is the reshoot, the upgrade as we roll into the 2018 season. Now, big thing to call out, big change They've redesigned your shield mechanism. It now sweeps, it's more aerodynamic, it has a great seal, a little bit more Daft Punk in the styling. It is now fully integrated, accentuating these turbulators. It sweeps to the side here with this ridge, breaks up laminar flow, again, more stable at speed. We love it. Also, you have this ridge down towards the bottom and the shape has been redefined. You're gonna notice top vent system and mechanism has been made lower profile to generate less noise, but ultimately functions the same. The other thing you're gonna note here is we still have our drop down sun visor, which is great because you never really have to change your shields. They've updated the design on this sweeping mechanism that allows you to open and close it. And the last thing I wanna get into is one of the bigger ones. And it's one of our favorite things about this helmet. When you buy this helmet for around the $750 mark, it comes pre-integrated with a boom microphone and speakers that are gonna be baked into the 
ear pockets that are non-removable. It's wired for the antenna. Everything's here so that you can add the Schubert SC1. There are two versions, a standard version and an extended range version for just over the $200 mark. You're basically adding only an ounce and a half and it integrates with a battery and a control unit into these two holes right here. You literally use the pin that it gives you in the box, pop these covers off, snap them in and you're done. You have the ability to get phone to helmet, GPS to helmet, rider to rider, FM radio, the extended range up to a mile with up to 10 hours of talk and a week of standby, ultimately without having to clamp everything on the outside. And while I have this helmet flipped up like this, you're also going to see that this ridge in the bottom of the helmet which is now done in a composite material. It's a TPU material. What this has done is given rigidity to a helmet that when we think about the C3 Pro, one of our few gripes with that helmet, you know, if you remember the lineage of the C3, the C3 wasn't the right fit. It created a pressure point, it was too neutral. They fixed the fit on the C3 Pro, got a lot of things right, but it was a little bit too flexible with the face shield up and, or with the chin bar up and the chin bar down for our liking. They have now updated that. So that, again, that is a nice step forward from Schubert as a redesign redeveloping and really fixing a helmet that ultimately needed to be improved based on newer technology as they moved into the future. And again, when I say needed, that's really speaking to the German engineering behind this because they're not gonna sit on the laurels, they're gonna go back to the drawing board, listen to customer feedback, put it through further testing and make sure they iterate with every release of this phenomenal modular family that has a lineage that goes back at least a decade at this point. Now, let's talk briefly about fitment now that we've covered some of the nuances and difference as you go from C3 Pro to C4. Fitment on this bad boy is going to be the updated Schubert fit. They call it ergonomic. I call it intermediate oval. That's a little bit slight, it's slightly longer. So again, a little bit longer front to back. My head shape's gonna fit it perfectly. Most of yours, 70% of the US market is gonna be this intermediate oval head shape. If you're rounder or more neutral or more earth shape this is not the fit for you and ultimately if you're a little bit longer than I am a little bit thinner and narrow that's something that you're gonna need to think about and you might have to actually put one on because ultimately it is more geared for that true intermediate oval head shape again no surprises there. One of the things I would call out is Schubert, I'd like to see you offer upgrade or swappable components for your cheek pads as well as your comfort liner over time I'm sure they will Use the size chart, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback, most importantly, your comments. I'd love to hear for you if that extra four ounces of difference when you go from that original ECE version to the DOT is a deal breaker for you or if that's something that you can stomach when you think about all the other benefits, the balance and the precision that Schubert brings to market with the C4. Now, if we dive in, the first thing I'm gonna start with here is the exterior. Before I even get to the vents, let's talk about DFP processing. processing. DFP is the new way of Schubert replacing the strong fiber composite system and it's less of a random way to construct a shell. So you're still getting this composite architecture on the outer shell, which passes the safety ratings, is strong and needs to be lightweight. The difference is DFP, dynamic fiber processing, allows a machine versus a randomly sprayed bag mold. A machine now will cut the fibers and independently lay them. Almost like if you think like Westworld on HBO, how they build those composite humans. That's how these helmets are pieced together. And what it allows them to do is beef up the areas that are more crash prone to make sure they cover all of the safety ratings, but in areas that aren't gonna really get the full brunt of a crash or are gonna need a little bit less material and don't have to be the same thickness as your true impact areas, what they can do is they can dial back and be very precise in the thickness of the shell material, which allows them to cut weight. And believe it or not, even going from 3.8 on the C3 Pro to now 4.2 on the new one, DFP is saving them the ability from having to go into the mid fours when you add everything in of the speakers into this helmet. So that's been a big step up. We've seen that in some of the newer Schubert helmets. Now we're seeing it here in the C4 as well. When we look at the exterior, one of my favorite things on this helmet is the slick factor of the spring-loaded chin vent. We do dig it. It works quite well. It's very positive. Other manufacturers take a play out of this playbook. This could be the future events. It just feels like the fit and finish is upgraded. When we think about our optically correct class one face shield that's also going to be impact proof. We talked about the turbulators that break up the laminar flow, great gasket and seal working its way around. And notice how this works here on the side. This piece is integrated into the helmet itself, runs back along the lines that would normally take a spoiler, and ultimately is just a very seamlessly done helmet. Again, breaking up airflow, creating a smooth surface. So what ends up happening is you get a more stable helmet at speed. 
big top chimney vent here, open and closed. It does have three positions, which is a midway. That's two 10 millimeter vent holes that are gonna directly vent to the Mohawk or the top of your head. Again, channeling air down. And that's really it. The other vent you're gonna have on this helmet is the air that comes in and circulates is gonna travel down and be extracted out of the bottom. I like this helmet in the upright riding position, maybe the three quarter. I don't love it as much in the tuck position. I think if you're buying this helmet and you're riding in the tuck position, I think you should have a talk with somebody who rides a little bit more than you if it's not gonna be me and you should make a better choice and buy a sportier helmet because ultimately this is really designed for more of a sport touring touring position and you get the best benefit out of the aerodynamic profile as well as the benefit of the vent configuration. Now, if I spin it here, you're gonna get a shot. Remember, we haven't seen graphics yet. You're gonna have a myriad of solids. This is going to be your white. I'm gonna grab my donut and let's open this bad boy up. If we come over here onto the bottom of the helmet, we've talked about our SC1 system, easily integrated. Red button in the front is a very easy chin mechanism to allow you to open it. Notice it's metallic hardware here. It's not plastics. That's what happened. It's a very positive lock. I'll say the locking mechanism on this helmet feels even more precise than the C3 Pro. A nice step forward. If we look, removable chin skirt. Now, when we get into the bottom of this helmet, there's actually a lot of function here. It's not an emergency cheek pad removal system. That's a trade-off. But what it does have, and it makes the cheek pads a complete pain to take out, but that's okay, is you have the arrows, A-R-O-S, the anti-roll-off system, which means in the back of the helmet, you have two anchor points with two straps that ultimately come around and fix it around your jawline. So there's a strap in here covered by the cheek pad, which allows it to, this helmet, if you are in a crash that wants to pull your helmet off your head rotationally that way, it's actually going to stop it. If we look here, rubberized so it won't fall off your seat, reflective paneling so that you're gonna get the benefit of being seen if you're in that three-quarter position, more of a sport touring position, and notice this mesh. This mesh is for breathability, especially here in the back as that air channels down the back and is extracted out of the back of the helmet. So what I'm not gonna do here is I work past my Schubert, as they typically do, micrometric ratchet, which is nice, and the way it's done, it's a one-handed removal by that little strap, and again, it's a safety dual hinge locking mechanism. What you have is a shiny text material, which I'm gonna pull out my comfort liner here. I'm not gonna pull out my cheek pads because they tend to be a little bit tougher to remove. Notice there's a lot going on. Actually, I'm gonna do it on one of the sides here just to show you, but I'm not gonna do it on both. Notice how all this comes apart. I promise if you, ha if you have the luxury of time in the comfort of your own home, this is not that difficult, but on camera here today, we did not pre-snake it through. It's a little tougher. So what I'm gonna do is give it 10 more seconds of this cheek pad, and then I'm gonna abort mission. So I am gonna abort mission here, but I wanna give you a shot of, here's my, there's my neck roll. It comes off, it slightly rotates. Again, when you get into integrated tech, sometimes you think about things like your car, when you get in behind the dash, it becomes a mixture of wires. I'm not gonna say it's bad design, I'm just gonna say there's a lot going on. Here's my neck roll, it rotates out. Let me take out my comfort liner. You need to be able to see the shiny text material. One and two, pulling out my neck roll. It's connected slightly to the backs of the cheek pads. There we go. So here's my shiny text material. Notice, sonically welded. If we think about the first version of what became a family close to this, which is truly that C3, used to have two dots up on the forehead. You used to also have a flap to close the air for colder weather riding. What they've done is they've tossed that. Now we have our snaps up here wider, knowing they're gonna play a little bit nicer in the sandbox with an intermediate oval head shape. You also have your adjustable top mechanism, which allows you to really fine tune where this padding goes for the best level of comfort and support. If we look at the sides, everything's kind of detachable and I would say interchangeable, but Schubert at this point does not have replacement parts that you can buy separately to fine tune. But what happens when you pull this off, you're gonna see shiny text, antimicrobial wicking, it's gonna pull sweat away. It is sonically welded, it is really nicely done. It's very luxurious. I haven't used luxurious in a video in a while, but I don't have a better, better adjective for it. It just feels very pro. You're spending over 700 bucks. Everything should work really well together. And again, I wanna go back. I docked this helmet, remember, zero points for the fact that it is complex on the inside. That is part of the technology and protection system that you're buying. Notice here's our anti-roll-off system. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread these guys out here a second. Before I do that, I'm gonna show you the pre-integrated Cena speakers off the 20S. They are the bigger speakers. They carry a great sound quality. Again, you're getting a premium pre-integrated upgrade there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these guys to the side and I am going to 
open this up so you can see the guts. Notice even the liner is sprayed. The inside of this is going to have a fuzzier material which just cleans it up and finishes it off. Notice those two 10 millimeter vent holes in the front that channel all the way down through the back and exit up towards the top. Again, the fit and finish are premium. I love the new vent mechanism. I love the SC1 pre-integration. I love the fact that they have tweaked this helmet and really changed a lot of the styling, which gives you a better aerodynamic profile. The quiet is still where it needs to be. One last thing that I didn't mention is you even have a setting for the depth in which the nose comes down on your drop down sun visor. You can either leave it in the normal position coming down further, or you can put the stop in place, which stops it and takes off about five millimeters. So again, a lot of adjustability and fine tunability on this helmet. My big gripe is that for the US market, the medium and large, which are the most common sizes, now go up to four pounds, two ounces, where we thought they were gonna come in at three pounds, 12. So again, that's the information that you need to know to make an informed decision click the info button. Your next step is to visit the product detail page. And the best thing that you can do truly is to read other rider reviews to see how this new C4 is performing for other riders going through longer distance testing, putting this guy through its paces every day. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 9455 Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.